Yeah. Okay, tell me now, one by one. So what am I supposed to draw first? A uh, right angle triangle. Where? Right angle triangle and what what is going to what is representing what? Brian's so, kite is flying above a field at a at the end of 65 meters of a string. So theta would be 70. Um, then uh, opposite would be 65. Okay, so let's first draw the di diagram first, okay? Yeah. Draw the diagram. So that's how my kite is here. Yeah. Miss, I learned another trick for uh, learning like tan, cos, and what? Miss, so can you write like, um, this sounds weird, but can you write Osha Chota? No, that's so confusing. That's how I <laughs> just use Soka Toa. Soka Toa is the easiest. S O H. How is that the easiest? Because, because it's easy to remember. Soka Toa, that's it. Osha Otherwise, Chota. there are many. There are some people have curly brown hair to prove beauty. Then that is also, it will confuse you. These are just oh, mnemonics. Oh, the way you stick to this. <laughs> but Arushi, if you, if you are more comfortable with the other one, please go ahead. It doesn't matter. It's just a way to remember. Yeah. Okay, Arushi. Yeah. yeah. Just, it's just to tell you that what is opposite and what is, when to use sign, when to use cause, when to use stand. That's all. Okay. Yeah. So, okay, so now here is our kite. This is where our kite is, okay? And then it is saying that is kite is lying above a field at the end of 65 meter string. So which part is the 65 meter? The left line. Uh, uh, Miss the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse, oh. because yeah. string is like this, right? This is 65, okay, the hypotenuse, okay? Uh, if the angle of elevation oh, is okay. just 70 degrees, and where is it from? 70 degrees from where? Uh, this part. Yeah. That is right. Okay. So I'll just name them. Which one is opposite? Opposite is the uh, height. This, yeah. this height. is opposite. Okay. And which is which one is adjacent? The one at the bottom. Adjacent and hypotenuse. This one. Yeah. Right? Yeah. All right. So which what do you what are we supposed to find out? We are supposed to find out O. Isn't so we it? Use sin. So we will use so S yeah. O. H, which means we are going to use sine theta is equal to O upon H, which is theta is how much? 70. Sine 70 degrees is equal to O is how much? We don't know. And H is 65. 65. So the simple 65 sine 70 degrees is equal to O. Give me the final answer. Put it in calculator. Give me the answer. Yeah, I'm just opening it. Hmm. I hope we are writing this, all of us. Yeah. Arya, are you writing the term? Just can you wait a minute? I'll just get my book. Hmm. Yeah, same. Final answer. This one's my GD, so it's taking time. Make sure that the angle is in degrees. Yeah. Miss, I have a question. Yeah, yeah, tell me. So, Miss, my maths teacher always tells me to write in pen, but I feel that's just not practical. Like, you, it's very difficult to do maths with a pen. Miss, um, it's 61.1. 61.1, yeah. So, you must have got 61.08, right? Yeah. Meters is equal to O, but we are going to convert that into... Three significant figures, so 61.1 meters in three significant figures. That's your answer. Yeah, so coming back to Ash. Yeah, Ash, difficult for you to write in pen? Yeah, miss. So, like, should I ask him for me to write in pencil? Because oh, I just... No. No. <laughs> we need to learn to write with a pen. Because, you know, what will happen? Somebody can erase your answer. The answer can be erased. So, we don't want all of that when you're doing exams, right? 
get used to the habit now writing okay. with a pen yeah chalo read the next Abhijay, question i'm just copying this question and so i want one of you to read it please the next one so a man appeared at an altitude of 1200 meters the angle of depression to a building on the ground measures 28 degrees and the distance from the plane to the building yeah so before you actually i want arushi you to draw annotate annotate on my screen how will you make the figure okay no i'm not sure about depression that's okay that's okay you draw whatever you know so the building on the ground measures so do i do a right angle triangle first yes always yes then this is the plane right where is the plane at the top yeah, yeah. absolutely yes yes and um this will be 1200 correct altitude means height yeah mm -hmm. and when on a moment is 28 will this be 28 angle of depression okay so okay that's the only thing which you've not drawn correctly but i stressed everything is fine it's right as this right no i'll tell you it is eventually this but i'll tell you what it means actually all right you like the triangle is upside down so it's like this correct that's what you've drawn hmm? here is your plane so always remember whenever you're making an angle of in elevation or depression you always make a baseline first what do you make you make a baseline on that baseline this is the depression angle of depression to uh to a building on the ground measures this much so the building must be somewhere here and that angle of depression is 20 this angle of depression is 28 degrees so by law of parallel lines these will be alternate interior angles so even this will become 28 oh degrees. yeah 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 remember this okay so rest everything was correct did you get it yeah okay so we can now do the question but this one is 1200 this is 1200 my thing ha huh? I'll, i'll do it and please do uh, please uh, do the question now this is 1200 what are from the um find the distance from the plane to the building plane to building what is the distance which what exactly are we trying to find out the distance from the plane to the building what are we trying to find out actually here oh like that from the plane to the building from the plane to the building this is your plane and this is your building oh okay what are we finding out tell me hypotenuse we are supposed to find the hypotenuse right what what are we going to use so ka to a um we are going to what all do we have to a to a we can use um no we use sin why you are right because you have to we have, find it we have opposite and we have again find out hypotenuse so opposite and hypotenuse comes with sin also what we have to find has to come in the equation right okay uh, so sin theta is equal to o upon h which gives us sin 28 degrees is equal to opposite which is 1200 upon the hypotenuse which means h will be equal to 1200 divided by sin of 28 degrees give me the answer Miss, the answer is two five five six point one, or two five five six point zero six five. Two five five six. So, ah, uh, can you give me the answer in three significant figures? Ah, uh, two five five, two five six. Answer was two five five six point zero six. 
point zero six. Three significant figures mean you can only give three numbers, right? Yeah. Only, so hypotenuse will be equal to how much? Two five. Two five six zero meters. Two significant figures. Oh, so oh. if I was to have um, one. You just one. say two five five six. That's not three significant figures. That becomes four significant figures. So what are you saying? Say, can you repeat your question? So if I am to have a figure of one, two, three, four, uh, two, three significant figures, my answer would be one, two, three, zero. One, two, three, four. Yes, three significant figures. It will become one, two, three, zero. Yes. Had it been one, two, three, five, then it would become one, two, four. Oh, four, four zero. zero. Just yeah. because the last digit is five, it became one, two, four, zero. So we just round the last two numbers up or down. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Clear? This part is clear? Yeah. yeah. Now I'm going to read the third question. And you will also annotate your diagram on the screen. Me? or? Yes, you will annotate the diagram, whatever you could understand. Okay. Annotate it on my, on my screen. No, can I just do it on my book first? Okay, you do it on your book and then you send a picture to me. Yeah. Yes, all of us. Uh, no, this one Arya will do. Okay. Done, Arya? No, it's one second. Arushi and Arsh, are you done? Yes, Miss, I got my answer is 15.9, but I can't really understand the next question. Okay, I'll just come back to the question. Wait, you use sign for this, right? Uh, no, tell me the diagram time. first. Can you tell me the diagram first for the third one, Arya? Are we drawing right now? Yeah, okay. I'm mm -hmm. saying it's the wrong word. I'll just do it anyway. Are you sending a picture to me? Miss, I think he's drawing it. Yes, I'm drawing it. Annotating. This is what I do. Okay. Now think about it, huh, Arya? What you've drawn is partially correct. Few things are incorrect here. Let's understand. From a point on a ground, 12 free feet from the base of a flagpole. So this is your flagpole, okay? This is the base of the flagpole. This is the top of the flagpole, okay? 
from a point on the ground. So where will be, where will that point be on the ground here? Somewhere is it, here. Is it O? Oh. This distance is twelve feet. Oh, okay. From a point on the ground. So this point is on the ground. Uh, from the base of a flagpole. The base is this distance is twelve feet. Okay. Got it. And now we are supposed to. This is the hypotenuse. This is adjacent. This is opposite. Rest everything was fine. Fifty three degrees. What do I use? So ka toa. Ka uh, toa. For toa, T O A. What are we supposed to find out actually? How? What is the height of the uh, flag? I need to find out O. So I have. I need to find O, and I have A. So I will use toa. So tan theta is equal to. O upon A. Please say with me. Next. Theta is equal to O upon A. Next. Tan fifty three degrees. Tan. Oh, one second. Huh. Tan fifty three degrees is equal to uh, O upon twelve. O upon twelve. Twelve. So, next, um, O is equal to. Uh, okay. O is equal to fifty-three point one. Fifty-three degrees. Twelve into tan fifty-three degrees. Yeah. Next. Where must want it be? Oh no, never mind. Twelve. Into tan fifty three is how much? Ash. Is how much? Oh, um, it's uh fifteen point nine. Fifteen point nine two, which you will write as fifteen point nine in three significant figures. Okay. This is three SF. Okay. Yeah. Next. Yes, Ash. Read the question. Yes, I don't understand this. Uh, Read it. Plane flying due east at two fifty five meters above sea level. The angles of depression of two ships sailing due east measure um thirty five and twenty. Oh, 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 miss. So are we? So is it two triangles? Oh, it's so very triangle. good. It is oh, two. Yes, I got it. Yes. So there is a plane above here. One is. So is it like one big on triangle side, into two triangles? Is this boat? Another boat is on this side, boat A and boat B, and this is your plane. Hmm? And I'll just make two triangles now, right? Here it's like this. On one side, it is twenty-five degrees. On so, Mr. Uh, side, you were trying to find the hypotenuse, right? Here, okay. How far apart are the ships? So, what are we supposed to find? So we'll find the hypotenuse for both, and then. Uh, are we supposed to find hypotenuse for the boat? I, I, um, am I not supposed to find out A to O and O to B? That's the distance oh, yeah. between ships, right? Yeah. Right. So A to O from the first triangle, and O to B from the second triangle, and then you add them up. Uh. Wait, Miss. So I've taken it with two different triangles. Is that wrong? You have to make one triangle because it's from the same plane, oh, na. So, Miss, isn't this this is an angle of depression and elevation for the plane? Yes. Okay. So angle of depression means all right. Good point. So angle of depression. If this is thirty-five degree, then this becomes thirty-five degree. Yeah, and this side it is twenty five degrees, so it becomes this one becomes twenty by law of yeah parallel uh, lines. Yeah. Okay, miss. So I need to make it as one big triangle. Yes, one big because it's from the same plane, and the height of the plane is how much? Two sixty five meters above sea level. Two sixty five meters, right? So, so you need to find out what will you use here. What are we supposed to use here? Uh, in each triangle, uh, so ka toa. What is it? Uh, tan. Toa, right? Toa in both, right? Yeah. So for the first one, I'll write tan 
25 degrees is equal to opposite upon adjacent, right? Yeah. Can I call this x and this y just for easy calculation for me? Yeah. Yeah, so it is opposite, which is 264 upon x. And for the other one, it becomes tan 35 equals 265 upon y. Yeah. So x is equal to 265 upon tan 35. And y will become 265 upon tan 35. Please give me your answers and tell me what is x, what is y, and the final answer of x plus y. Oh, so many messages. Kis kya are messages? Me? Miss my school. <laughs> What's X? Come on, Chaldi, batao. Miss Mantak and I'm just putting it into the calculator. Yeah. What's X plus Y? Five, X is 568.294. Okay. And Y? And Y is... Um, y is equal to 378.459. Both in meters? Yeah. What is the total answer? Just one second. Um, wait, so do we just add these? Total, what is it? What's the final answer for? Yes, so do we add just them? add these? Yeah, yeah, of course. Oh. Arushi, Arush, I'm not listing anything from you. No answers at all. Miss, I didn't put it into the calculator. Give me the answer quickly. Chalo, come on. I have a summative right now and my teacher just changed everything about it. What summative? My drama summative and I have like 14 pages to write. She said we have six pages to write and now she's saying we have 14. So I don't know what is it. Uh, miss, it's uh, 946.753. 946.753 significant figures would become? So 947. Seven and meters. That's three SF, right? Okay. Yes, Arushi, so you want to go or what? No, miss. Um, okay. it's a... All right. Okay. Next. Arushi. And I want everybody to answer. It's not just the person who's reading it. Everybody has to answer. Okay, so a man. A man. I can't find the... Oh, yeah. A man... Uh, Flies a kite and lets out a hundred feet of string. The angle of elevation of the string was just like the one we did. Man hundred. flies a kite and lets out hundred feet of string. Angle of elevation of the string is fifty-two degrees. How high is how high off the ground is the kite? How so far away is the or directly under the? Hmm. Miss, you'll use uh, sun. You're supposed to find out two things here. 
how high or yeah. is height from the ground so that is your this one so you will use sin and cos yeah. and how far away and is the spot directly under the kite so that you are going to use find out this one right yeah this is your diagram this is your diagram one opposite this we don't know opposite and adjacent this is 52 degrees correct so we are going to find out these two things i hope it's clear this yeah. is the kite is here can we move ahead miss one my can i just do this ah. are you all doing it so have to find yeah. out um, opposite and adjacent right we have to find opposite and adjacent both Miss a. Opposite is seventy-eight point eight. Same answer for everyone. Arsh, yes, I'm not doing the calculations. Like I'm, I know I'm doing all the formulas, just not the calculations. Even no, I have. You uh, just need to put it in the calculator. Now do it. No. Why do you want to? Miss the that takes up the majority of the time. Like I know how to do it. Uh, I'm just I'm also working on something else right now. Like what? That. Lot of summatives, miss. Lot of summatives. They're over. No, they're not. I have oh, design no, and I have drama. Yes, drama and then there's design and drama is like. I haven't even started criteria D. For design. Yeah. Drama. Drama. Can you give me the answer for? Opposite. How much did you say? Opposite is seventy eight point eight. Seventy eight point eight. Okay. And I'm just doing. Adjacent is. Adjacent. I'm just doing it. Adjacent is. When are the summit is getting over? They're basically over. This Friday. They're not over, are they? Not at all. I just cause you're not done with your stuff. But I didn't ask. Okay. I'm sorry that I'm just a little bit angry that I have to work on some matters. Okay. When is I, okay? I, did I tell you I'm not there between 18th to um, so 17th, 18th there will be no class because it's holy. And uh, anyways, you you will have a class on 18th which will not happen. And then after that, I am not there the entire week. Okay. Yeah. I um, think I'm. Cost is. Uh, I mean, adjacent is sixty one point six. One point six. Yeah. Sixty. Sixty one point six. Next question. Now we will make diagrams for all of them. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that. And you will just tell me what are we supposed to do it do here, okay? Yeah. Arsh, come on, next. Whose turn is it, Arsh or Arushi? Uh, Miss, it's mine. Oh, Arsh, follow. Uh, this is angle of depression. Uh. Make your diagram here. Oh, okay. Annotate. Um. Miss, I'm drawing everything so neatly. I've never done this in my life. So this is an interesting chapter, isn't it? Yeah. Wait, Miss, I'm sending her a photo. This is so neat. One second. <laughs> Send it after the class. Once you're done with everything. 
uh, yeah, Miss. So here we're trying to find the hypotenuse. One minute. It's from the top of a cliff, top of a vertical cliff, forty meter high. All right. So this is forty meters high. Angle of depression of an object from a uh, uh, angle of depression of an object that is level with the base of the cliff. Uh, we'll use cos. Cos thirty four equals um, okay. forty upon h. So we'll have h equals forty upon cos thirty four. Arivir, can you calculate that? Wait one second. Uh, what does this mean? The angle of depression of an object that is level with the base of the cliff. Oh, angle means, of means that, are, are that means that the bottom is like straight. Angle of elevation point is on a chair. Depression point is on a chair. That's my question. Well, it, this one. Yeah. First, why have you written thirty-four inside? Wait, miss. What did I do? You've written thirty-four inside this. You've written thirty-four here. It is meant to be here. Where I'm going. Should be here, or it should be like this. हाँ, वो तो करेंगे या मर्श. That uh, area. We will do that later. But when you are saying depression, you write you you are supposed to put it like this, isn't it? This is thirty yeah. four, and then this is thirty four. Oh, miss, I drew it wrong. I you drew it as elevation. Like, yes, you did it inside this. You you mark this one as thirty four, which is not right. Yeah. Got it? Don't yeah. do that mistake. It happens. Many children make this mistake. Don't do this mistake. Okay. This is thirty four. Ye thirty four. This is angle thirty four. Angle of depression, and then. Because of the law of parallel lines, this also that this one also becomes thirty-four. Now do it. Um, how far is the object from the base of the cliff? So this is the base of the cliff, and this is the object, right? So what are we supposed to find? A. Opposite is how much? Miss, we want to find hypotenuse. We want to find how far is the object from the base of the A, cliff? Opposite, right? Base of the cliff. We want to find the base of the triangle. Huh? We want to find the base of the triangle. We have to find the base of the right triangle. Right. Where is the base of the cliff? It's here, right? This is the base of the cliff. From here, you're trying to find this out where the object is. That distance. Are you getting it? Yes. No. He's just working on drama. Arsh. Yeah, Miss. Yeah, Miss. I'm getting it. Okay, now tell me what what am I supposed to use? Uh, here you use um. Uh. Miss, should I go on mute? Why? Miss, because the noise keeps coming. That's okay, no. Okay. Uh, here we need to use uh cos. We will use cos. Ka. Uh no. Uh sorry. Um. Sin. Sin. Yeah. Sin. Yeah. So, what are we supposed to find? I'll I'll just draw the triangle by myself. What's first? Yeah. Tell me what are we supposed to find? Uh, miss. Yeah. Oh my! The so my teacher she gave us the wrong instructions for the summative, and they like just put a mute link on the Google chat so that she can give us the right instructions. Is it okay if I leave? Okay. So you will you listen to the recording, Arushi? Yeah, I'll listen to that. Miss, don't do that. For this, don't you use toa? We have to use toa, right? Okay, Arushi, you exit, but listen to this recording, okay? I'm starting notes also. I'll send it. Oh, uh, Miss, I'm confused. Because see, because okay. you have to find a, so a has to be in. No, the... wait, wait, Miss. Uh, wait, are we one second? Uh, I'm just. Uh. First, first, leave everything that you're doing and concentrate here, and then ask. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm not doing anything right now. Uh, First, uh, how far is the object from the base of the cliff? Where is the base, Ash? Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yes. A. We're finding A. Toa. Toa. Me. Kya karenge ab ham? Yeah. Uh. Uh. Forty upon A. Sin thirty four. Forty upon A. Tan. Tan. And here. Forty-four is equal to O upon A, so O is forty, and A we don't know, so that A would become tan. Oh, sorry, A would become A would go up, 
it will become 40 upon say it will become 40 upon tan 34 degrees right yeah should i do it yes and then do the next also I want to make the diagram for each one of them. 59.3. 59.3 is absolutely the right answer. 59.3. Yes, we had a math formative today. I got all right. Okay, wonderful. And we also had a science formative. That one I didn't get all right. I got like 80 to 90% correct. I got like one or two wrong. Science formative? Yeah. Okay. What was it about? So it was about magnetism and biogenesis. Magnetism also. Yeah. Yeah, both of the units will come in the end of year assessment. End of year, no. But they are taking formative now only. Uh, so, Miss, end of year is in like a month. Um, May, no? Uh, April. First week, April. First week of April, May, yoga physics. Yeah. Uh, Miss, even maths, maths and science, I think, are just a day apart or on the same day. Okay, fine. So, so maths also both units. Um, the previous one functions and this one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Got it. Please keep attending the school, uh, the classes. Don't miss the classes because we can't do anything in one day. You know that, right? Yeah. Yeah, Miss. Can we have a few extra science classes? Yeah, I feel like math is a bit more clear than science. Yeah, miss, math I get, but with the science class, there are like so many people, so it's not as easy to understand. You need to be, first of all, see, people will not make any difference if you are concentrating in the class. That's the thing. It's, it's, not, it is not the number of people. It is always what you, you're, you know, most of the classes, Ash, if I'm being honest, you're late or not attending. So how will you understand? Are you regular to the classes? But yeah, Mr. Always come. That's not true. That's not true. Absolutely. <laughs> I... But anyways, anyways uh, so I have this one week, I, have, I won't be there. But uh, yeah, I, I'm going to revise through everything. Let me finish up with biogenesis in the next class. And then uh, we will do revisions. Okay. So in uh, and in one of the math classes, I'll do science with you all. Okay. Yeah. That's no problem. But I want you to be very regular. I do not want irregularity. Then otherwise you will not get anything. That because the link is broken. If you, even if you're late for 15 minutes, 15 minutes, whatever is done, you're late. You're you you lost the track. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. Right. So I'll do that, but you also need to be very regular in the class. Chalo, next. Is it mine? Yes, yes. Okay. Wait, which one is it? Is it the... Is it seventh? Seventh one, yeah. Okay. So here we have to find the angle of elevation. Uh, yeah. Read the question first, Arsh, uh, Arya. Yeah, Miss, I'm just drawing the right angle. This thing. You yeah. Let's read it. So, Miss, the uh, base will be 200 and the height will be 60. Yeah, so this. And it will take off 200 yards. So, what we find as the hypotenuse, we will just put more than that amount. No, no. First thing. This, this question is very different from whatever we've done till now. Okay, Arya, I'll just remove this from now, for now. Yeah. Okay, this is not the diagram that we are going to make here. Okay, because now the question is airplane takes off 200 yards in front of 60 foot building. Okay, um, airplane takes off 200 yards. Okay, no, no, no. I think you made it correct only. Okay, I thought it's a 
it's a question with a with something like this that the building also has some height and then i thought the question was something like that it's not so yeah what you made was correct for this one yes chalo batao so this will be 200 this is 200 right um front of a 60 foot building so this is 60 200 in front of a 60 foot building at least 60 feet So this is theta because we have to find it. Oh no, wait. Yes. This is theta. Hmm. So Miss Yoga just gonna use inverse uh, tan. That is fine, but there is one problem in this question. This is in yards, and this is in. Oh, uh, the teacher told us to this thing. Uh, ignore that. Why? Uh, I don't know. He said that it must have been a mistake with something of theirs. He just told us to ignore it. Okay, so which one? Both of them are in yards, or both of them are in feet? He just told us to ignore the measure, like sixty and two hundred. Okay, okay. Sixty. Yeah, Mr. Amit, na. So, so you mean to say that your the units your so I'll just keep it as feet. So there's no units. There's just. All right. Take care. So, so what are we using here? What quickly tell me so that we can move to the next question. What are we going to use? So, katoa, but jaldi batao. Oh, uh, tan. Toa. Inverse tan. Toa. Okay. And then, which means to the power of minus one. Tan theta is equal to opposite upon adjacent. This is equal to the power of minus one for opposite. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. We are going, still doing the same thing. Last me karenge buka ham. Okay. Tan yeah. theta. We'll write everything first. Tan theta is equal to sixty upon two hundred. Right now, theta is equal to tan inverse of sixty upon two hundred. Yeah. Got it. Now you what you're supposed to do is first do what is sixty upon two hundred, or you can put tan inverse in your calculator. Do, do it now. I want you to do it now. What do you do? Tan inverse sixty upon two hundred. Yes. You can tan put inverse. tan inverse zero point three. So and you need to put it in a bracket. Make sure. Yeah, yeah. it's sixteen point uh, seven. So tan inverse of sixty divided by two hundred. What is the answer? Uh, sixteen point seven. Sixteen point seven. So theta is equal to sixteen point seven degrees. Answer correct. Next. Hmm. Eighth one. Diagram first. Um. So it's. Ash, can you read it now? Oh uh, yes. A fourteen foot ladder is used to scale a thirteen foot wall. At what angle of elevation must the ladder be situated in order to reach the top of the wall? Yeah, that's it. So. We're gonna use um, sin sin uh inverse sin. Fourteen. Arc sin. Fourteen, thirteen, and theta, right? That's yeah. what. Yes, perfect. Good job, Arya. And you are going to use so katoa. So. So. Inverse so. So that is s. Uh, inverse we will use later, but initially we'll start with this only. So means you are supposed to use sine theta is equal to opposite upon hypotenuse. That is sine theta is sine theta only. Opposite is say with me. Uh, uh, wait. Theta is equal to sine to the power of minus one in brackets thirteen upon fourteen, yes. which is equal to sixty eight point two. That is sine inverse of thirteen upon fourteen is equal to sixty eight point two. Yeah, sixty eight point two degrees. Okay, next, Ash, you will draw on the screen now. Yes, miss. Um. Yeah. Uh, 
15 and the parameters 38. Uh, so miss, this this is like all that I can draw, right? Diagonal, yes, of a rectangle. But Miss, they've just given the perimeter. So how will we know how much is on each side? Interesting. So I'll call this A and this as B. Yeah. Okay. And I know that perimeter, which means A. A plus B has to equal 38 divided by 2. Huh. A plus B. So A plus B plus A plus B is equal to 38, which means A plus B is equal to 38 upon 2. 38 upon 2 is how much? Um, 19. Okay. Yeah, 19. 19, which means A plus B is 19. Yeah. yeah. So from here, can I say that only A is equal to, or only B is equal to 19 minus A? Yeah. Okay. So instead of B, can I write it as B is equal to 19 minus A? Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, 15 ka square is equal to a square plus b square. Uh, yeah. Which is equal to a square plus, instead of b, can I write 19 minus a? Yeah. And since there's a square, I put a square also? Yeah. This 15 square becomes how much? 15 square becomes... Wait. Uh, 15 square equals a square plus 19 square plus a square. 15 square becomes 225. Uh, <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> so 225 is equal to a square. Now I'll apply what, what formula? a square plus b square plus 2ab? Um, yeah. Which is 19 square. I'll put that in a bracket. Minus 2ab, oh, which is 2 into B, A into 19, which is 38A plus A square. Yeah. Right? Okay. Wait, Miss, so when it's 2AB, isn't it 2 times A and 2 times B? 2 times A into B. So 2 into A into B. Oh, so B doesn't get times 2. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Okay, now after this, it becomes 225 is equal to, I'll open the bracket now, a square and this a square becomes 2a square. Right? Yeah. Hmm. 19 square becomes 19 into 19 is 361. Yeah. Minus 38a. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now what do we do? This, this becomes is like a quadratic a, equation. 2a square minus 38a plus 361 minus 225 is equal to 0. Absolutely correct. It's a quadratic equation. So 361 minus 225 will become 136. 8a plus 136 is equal to 0. I'll divide the entire equation by 2 so that I can remove the 2 from here. That becomes a square minus 19a. And 136 is divided by 2 is plus 68 is equal to 0. Yeah. Now I need to divide in such a way that I get uh, 68. I have to make factors in such a way that I get 19. Um, uh, um, four, 14, 14 and four, 14 and, uh, four, um, no, miss, it's not 14. 
Um. Oh, one second. Um. Uh, Miss, I don't know. Hmm. It's. Is it, to... Oh wait. So it needs to add up to sixty-eight. Add or subtract, whatever. Uh, and so what connection does it have to have to minus 19? Add or subtract karke do numbers ko, you should get a 19. Oh, so they should multiply into 68. Multiply into 68, add or subtract into 19. I'm so confused. Yeah. I'm not understand. Wait. No, basically now it is quadratic equation which you need to solve. I'm not that. understood that. I'm not understanding how to go further than this. I don't think you will have a perfect answer for this. So you will use the formula. You write. You do you remember the formula method? Uh, two a b. A is equal to how much? First you write a is equal to one. B is equal to minus nineteen, and c is equal to sixty eight. Right, and then you figure out what is d. D is equal to b square minus 4ac. How much is your b? It's minus 19 square minus 4. How much is a? How much is c? This. So now you substitute this 19 square is 361 minus 4 into 68. Do you remember this method? Remember this method? 361 minus 272 is equal to 89. So your D is equal to 89. Do you remember this? Yes or no? Um, yeah. Any other? If you're not able, like you tried breaking this, right? But you could not, right? You could miss the quadratic formula is just B square minus 4AC. Yeah, B, no, no, no. Now you are supposed to do further than this. There's a formula, right? The yeah. formula is it's minus D. Wait, miss, what is D? What you put, D is the discriminant, which we used to put in the, but we need to figure out what is A, B, C, and D. If these four things we need to find out. A, B, C, we just look and find out. D, we need to calculate by B square minus 4AC. And then we find out the value of, like here we have to find the values of A, no? So that A is equal to this formula. Here, you're going to do what is B? B was nine, minus 19, so you'll put minus of minus 19, plus minus D we figured out as 89, so under root of 89, upon two, and A is how much? One. So this is what you have to do. Got it? Becomes 19 plus minus under root 89 upon two. Now we have to figure out the answer. We have to put it in calculator. 19 plus under root 89 upon 2. And the other one 19 minus under root of 89 upon 2. Abhi, I'll explain this method. I think you did not understand this at all, right? Um, I did. You used... Miss, I didn't get what D is because I think we've been... We've known about like... Um, wait, Miss, I'll just search it up. It's just something different. We haven't incorporated D at all previously. We have met every time. Oh, yeah, miss. So we have uh, X equals minus B plus minus root of B square minus 4AC, which is yeah, D. So that's which, what D is, no? Yeah, right. but uh, I've put it just that way only in the uh, formula but without you know, adding D. D is a, uh, is a uh, you know, it, it tells you that D is the disc D for discriminant. So we are finding the discriminant. You should know that. Uh, that's okay if you're not finding it out. That's fine. But you should know what D is. Okay. That's okay. It doesn't matter. But you should know. Because if, if uh, in some exam you see the discriminant is this, then will you leave that question just because you didn't know it? No. Naina? Right. So divided by 2. You get 14.2. And for this one it is 19 minus 
under root of 89 divided by 2. So you get 4.78. 4.7. These are the two answers. For in, you get in decimals. Did you get it? Yeah, miss. I'll just explain the method, okay? Once. Miss, I need to watch this back in the recording, I think. Yeah. You can watch it again in the recording. First, there are many things that we are using here. Abhi bhi hamara pura khatam nahi because we still have to find the, um, uh, we still have to find the area. Okay. How did we start this question? Have a look quickly. Uh, see. It was said the diagonal of a rectangle is five centimeters. So we wrote five here, A and B, because we didn't know what is the length and breadth, correct? Keep saying yes or no. Yeah. Arya? Wait. Um, yeah, okay. Di diagonal of a rectangle is 15 centimeter, perimeter is 38. 15 is here, perimeter is 38. For that, we didn't know, didn't know what is A, the length and breadth. So we took it as A and B, right? Yeah. Okay. Perimeter is equal to 38. So A plus B is equal to 38 upon 2, which is 19. Um, yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. <laughs> Randomly saying yes, or it's you fine. actually. Huh? I'm just so tired. Everything like registering slow, slower now. But are you getting it? I'm, I'll yeah, repeat. I'm getting it. The remeter is 38. Yeah. So twice of A plus twice of B is equal to 38. So yeah. A plus B is only 19. So yeah. from there, can I say that B is 19 minus A? Yeah. Now I'm applying. It's this. Isn't this a uh, is a Pythagoras theorem? So it's a it's a right angle triangle. No, I can apply Pythagoras theorem. Yeah. So. 15 is the hypotenuse, so 15 square is equal to a square plus b square. Yeah. Correct? 15 square is 225. Yeah. a square as it is, in place of b square, we just applied 19 minus a. b was 19 minus a, so we applied b. in place of b, we did 19 minus a. Yeah. Now we open the bracket, it becomes this square plus this square minus 2ab, so that becomes th minus 38a. Yeah. You open the bracket, this becomes 25, 15 square, 225, 2a square, because this is a square and a square. So 2a square, yeah. 361, which is 19 square, minus 38a. Yeah. Now you try to solve for the a. We tried doing splitting the middle term. We couldn't. So we are using this formula. The formula is A is that the value of A in this case is this A is actually the X. That's the formula. This is actually X. That X is equal to minus B plus minus root D upon 2A. So that X we are trying to find out now by using this formula, which is minus B plus minus D of under root D upon 2A. Minus B is this B, which is minus 19. Plus minus, so we wrote plus minus. And D we found out, which is B square minus 4AC. So you found out that that is 89, so under root of 89. Did you get it? And then now you just calculate with once with a plus sign and later with a minus sign. You get two answers. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. Okay. Shall yeah. we stop here now? For today? Yeah, I think so. Nothing's working anymore for me. Okay, fine. So, fine.